Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. Featuring undiscovered artists from across the globe. Unlocking the music from hip-hop to rock. We got it. Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. I'm your host, Sincere on Beats. And I'm your girl, Daisy. D-A-Y-C-E-E, in the place to be. What up, Daisy? What up? What's up, family? How's everybody? Mm-hmm. This week's been going. Good. Mine's too. <laughs> Thanks for asking. But yo, we are back with part two of his Christian rap trash. Garbage. Garbage. Is trash it, garbage? We gonna talk about that some more today. It deserves a second part. Yes, it does. To be honest with you, yes, it does. <laughs> but before we go any further, we got to shout out our first sponsor, which is Or Dangerous. Or Dangerous is a brand that uses inspirational merchandise to encourage believers to walk in their victory. Mm-hmm. We are ordained by God, therefore, dangerous to the Don't. devil. Or dangerous. Or dangerous. Yo, I check like it out that. though. You want to hear something exciting? What's that? Yo, they're giving out three, three, three free shirts. Free. Three free shirts. I like free. But there's only one catch, which is not really a catch. What's that? You have to pay the shipping. Okay. So you just pay the shipping. That's, I think that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, for a free shirt. So what, you paying a couple dollars for a fly shirt? Yes, yes. So uh, that's that's what we wear, stuff from or dangerous, so... Uh, but stay tuned because later on in the video, we're going to be giving you the code to get that free, free, free shirt. But they only good in three, so pay attention. And you mentioned that the shirts were, uh, the merchandise is sold on ourdangerous.com. Yeah, ourdangerous.com. Okay. We'll give you that information a little later. All right. So, yes. Um, so, listen, we got the song of the week. All right. We the had, of the week. We had stuff, um, other songs planned. But this artist, I got like four people asking about this artist and want to know if we can play their music. Um, and I'm not going to let my fans down. Yeah, play play his music again. Oh, so uh, so we got a double feature. Got a double artist feature of the week. Yeah, his name is Grand Th- Graham Thomas. Oh, so we're doing another one. We got to hit you with another banger. Um, so stay tuned. Here is Graham Thomas with Come Through. Unlocking, Unlocking the, music. the music. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press tone for more options. Hey, I was hoping you could like come through. Hit me up. You know, my mom's not home. Nobody's home, so I was hoping you could slide through and just hold a casual conversation with me. You know. Uh, look, she said, know you out there making moves, but I'm ready now My man just left and he upset, he think I'm petty now Anyway, what you doing right now? You should come through When you do, come around the back, knock three times so I know it's you Talking to my dog like a Grizzly Adams Told him that I shouldn't but I'm feeling savage Truth be told and I know it seemed cold I'm a dog in this wound, I just wanna rap it you how you trippin', just listen, you talking nasty, better stay in your lane, play zone, protect the past. That was Come Through. Ooh. Come Through. That sound like that was about to be a good story. Yeah. I'm ready to listen to the rest of that. Yeah, yeah. It's in the description, so go and listen to that song because it's something that we go through on a um, daily basis. Yeah, that's real. real. Yeah, <laughs> that's real, one hundred percent. You know Some what I'm saying? Real stuff. That's a real situation. Yeah, and yeah. he said, "I love storytellers." Yeah, you me know, too. I love a, a good storyteller. Exactly. Me mm-hmm. too. I love. Yo, that's why we only play hot music here yeah. on Music Diary Group. You know what I'm saying? Because um, that's what we do. And if you want. To see if you can get on for the song of the week. Yo, send your music to music diary group at gmail. Um, M-U-S-I-C-D-I-A-R-Y at Gmail. Well, music diary, diary group, group at Gmail. Okay. <laughs> Three words. Three words. Mm-hmm. Music diary group at Gmail. Um, MP3, MP4 format is welcome. Please don't, don't send us any links. Um, if you have a music video, send us the video. You know what I'm saying? If it's hot, we'll put that on our um our uh, page as well. So uh, yeah. shout out to the hottest artist that's out there that nobody knows. But yes. yo, we're here to expose you 
And I'm I'm excited about hearing that this because I know it's some hot music out there. So I'm some excited about music. hearing it. Yes. And about being able to make it the artist of the week. Yes, yes. And click on that Graham Thomas come through because you got to hear the rest of that. Yeah, Graham Thomas, man. I, like like I said, I like him as an artist, man. Um, good person too. So uh, shout out to him. Shout out. Shout out. So let's get it popping. So so is uh we talking about Christian rap? Yeah, we was talking about uh, <laughs> Christian rap. First of all, if um, you're trying to figure out what is part two, what are we talking about, go watch part one right. on our video. And um, so you see, so you can kind of catch up to so see what we're talking about today. Part one, just a little bit, we gave, uh, we kind of gave a foundation history mm -hmm. of Christian rap or gospel hip hop. And uh, and looked so at that. Called. We took yeah, we took we took a, a good look at that and kind of laid the foundation, mm -hmm. right? So today... We wanna we we ended on a on a question, right? Yes, we did. Which is why do Christian rap artists um, why are they in the box when mm -hmm. when secular artists bounce back and forth? They feel like they can, you know, they do their thing and then they hop on a gospel track. Yes, um, but they're not labeled. Yes. So, so what is that about? Well, they are in the box. You labeled yourself, which means you cannot talk about anything else but jesus christ himself it has to be in the lyrics right or it has to be a, in the lyrics or it don't count <laughs> or it does not count at all pretty much is not that you screwed yourself you put yourself in the but box. you screwed yourself by yeah. putting yourself in the box So there's no place to grow there's no place to move exactly right? so but yet and uh we got all these secular artists like i said that just, just be jumping on these gospel tracks like don't we got a new one that just Hold came up. out? Hold up. <laughs> Did you hear that new joint by Little Baby and Kurt Franklin called We Win? Really? It's hot, though. That joint hot, man. And it just that came out, hot. what, like a couple of days ago? Yeah, about two, three days ago. Yes. Yeah. So, and I'm, you know, I'm not familiar with some of the newer. I'm, I'll, I'll admit to that. I'll cop to that. I'm, okay. I'm a 90s, you know, kind of hip-hop head, uh, 2000s. I'm okay. not familiar with a lot of the artists. Um, from today, okay. But is you see that the the themes don't change right. over the years. It does, you know what I mean. You still got secular rap artists that'll boom come yep. in on a gospel track, you know, no problem, and they go right back to rap about whatever they rapping about. Yes, after yes. the gospel track is done. But how do you feel about it? How do you like the song? First off, yo, shout out to little baby. Mm -hmm. you no know, real talk, because you was not afraid. To come out of your element. I don't know if that's your element or not. Let's mm -hmm. get that straight. We don't mm -hmm. know your background for real, for real. So shout out to you anyway. Shout out to Kurt Franklin for mm -hmm. trying to bridge that gap. Yeah. That's number one. Right. All right. Secondly, I, I, I like I like to see that because you might can touch somebody's life by mm -hmm. that record. Yeah. By by putting those two artists. From different world mm -hmm. and where you come from, <laughs> you know what I mean. From two different worlds, okay, and putting them on in one record to come up with one one goal, and that's okay. just to win. All right, I like um, I like the content. I, I did like the content. Um, I felt like it was very inspiring, very inspirational. You know, and uh, and I was just yeah, I was I was feeling it. You know, I think about, and that's, that's my opinion. Okay. I know people have strong opinions, you know, we won't get too much into that, but I know people have strong opinions about secular artists yep. being on gospel tracks yep. and nobody, you know, about anybody going, you know, outside of the box because we want to put people in boxes. Right. It's easier that way. You stay in your box. Uh, this person stays in their box. Right. Right. But then when you got secular artists, Going, you know, doing a gospel thing. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting because secular artists do gospel music. It's mainstream. Yes. Uh, Christian rap artists do their thing and it doesn't go mainstream. Mm. I wonder why. <laughs> what is that? I wonder why. So mm -hmm. let me ask you this one question. What's that? So is Little Baby a Christian rapper now? Mm, is he? Is he an inspirational rapper, y'all? What's the definition? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is he a Christian rapper? Let's get that straight right now. That's no. A good he's a rapper. You don't hear nobody say, oh, yo, he's a Christian rapper now. You don't hear that. Right. So let's cut all that right now. Today, mm -hmm. last week, we setting a whole found another foundation. Right. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So. 
that's some hot music. That that that's just some great music right there. Yeah. Period. You know, and I think we got to get over our feelings. Yeah. We got a lot of feelings. Yes. You know what I mean? When it comes down to, oh, uh, and I do too. I'm, you know, I'm right there with them. Certain people jump on a gospel track and I'm like, mm, no, she didn't. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'm right there with you. I've been like there Nikki, and I've been like, that person. We ain't going to say nothing about Nikki. You know what I mean? Right. That was kind of weird. That was a weird situation I for me anyway. I felt so too for some reason. It was weird. <laughs> I ain't going to say it was, it was, it was, it was just weird. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll talk more about that later. Yeah, so, you know, we got a lot of feelings about those things, though. Strong feelings. We feelings. really do, you know? Nothing more than feelings. <laughs> you know, but um, we have, you know, there's other artists, too, right, that, that are secular that go. And then, you know, I have another question while we're talking about that. Okay. So why is it that when these artists have somebody come in and rap on their gospel album, they pick a secular artist over a Christian rapper? I never thought about that, to be mm. honest with you. You just, just came up with that? That just came up with that. That just came to my mind. Isn't that interesting? Why would why so why would he pick Lil Baby versus, you know I never versus, thought about versus that. Versus Bizzle. I never People thought know about Bizzle. that. Like why did why did he go that route? You I never know what thought I mean? about that. Why did why did um because it's all these Christian rappers, but they don't get chosen to be on these gospel tracks. Even back in the day, Kurt used um so, was salt. Salt. Yeah, salt. salt. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So. Yeah. But they never Stomp. use. They never actually use. Isn't that interesting? I never. I know, yo, you blowing my <laughs> mind right now because I never thought about that joint. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Huh. Hmm, right. You gave me something to think about later on. Hmm. That on just my, came to my, my mind on my, on my way home. Because I'm like they there, but it's, nobody. The gospel artists don't even use them. But why is that though? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have an idea. This show is not that long for me to speak about my opinions. Yeah, like I mean, that. this is that this is that topic where I mean, it's we giving you food for thought, even us. Like you know, this wow. is really interesting how you know so called Christian rappers. That's what the, that's what so called Christian rap, Yep, um, gets overlooked all the time. Yes, <laughs> um, I I even like Chance the Rapper. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because he had a song called. Um, I think blessings. Okay. But uh when the blessings go up. Blessing blessings mm-hmm. with um Jamila Woods or something like that. He's not considered a Christian rapper. Right. I mean right. Chance the rapper. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Chance, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's not afraid to live in his truths. Mm-hmm. You have to live in your truths. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's not afraid to do that type type of music. Right. It is hot. Yo, by the way, it's hot in here. Oh, yeah. We don't know what the freak's going on. Next time I'm getting a fan. Yo. I'm getting a little fan for my face. One of them little church fans. Yo. We're going to have some church fans yeah. up here. It's going to say Music Diary Group. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm a church fan. I, yeah. Yo, I haven't <laughs> seen the church fan in a long time. But, yo, um, I lo- I'm losing like two pounds every minute in here. I'm already on a diet, and I've been doing good. It's a little girl fat. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> so, so I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, we in the sauna. We in the sauna right now. So, so yeah, but I mean, um, what are we talking about? A chance. <laughs> chance the rapper. See, so how he's here. not a Christian rapper, right? He's, he's not a, a Christian ra- rapper. He's, he's a rapper that does some that does some you know some gospel themes yeah. every now and then. Yeah, I mean, yo, shout out to him, like I said, man, and everybody else who's not afraid to live in their truths. You know what I'm saying? And um, don't really care what other people think. Right. So we talked about others last week. You know, Snoop and. Uh, did a whole album, and we talked about um, Kanye, of course. Yeah, Kanye. You know? um, but let's talk about you know Christian rappers that that kind of get out, get themselves out of that box. And the only person I feel like that that revolutionized this Lecrae. Lecrae. Shouts out to you, Lecrae. Because yes. I'm gonna be the first one to admit, yo, uh, I judged you when you was trying mm-hmm. to get out that box from being called a Christian rapper. I judged you. I did too. I was like, yo, nah, B, what you talking about? You a Christian rapper. You came into this game, nah, you Christian. Da- but yo, that totally changed when I came out. I, like my box, I was like, yo, hold up. And for those of you who don't really know the situation, Lecrae, years ago, right? Yeah, years ago. He he came out and said, I'm no longer a Christian rapper. Right. I'm inspirational. Right. And, and he got judged very harshly for that. Yes. Because everybody doesn't know. We can't assume everybody knows. Right. Okay. You know what True. the situation was. But just so you know, uh, that's what happened with Lecrae. And mm-hmm. he got took a lot of heat. 
took a lot of heat for that. For that. And he was just coming out of that box. And no he didn't one, have no support. Right. No one had ever done that. And yep. people are still very, uh, you know, when it comes down to, you're a Christian rapper, you stay over there in that right. lane. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's still making what? His music is, is inspirational. He st- Yo, listen. Lecrae was making music, right? He made records previously um, before he decided to drop that title. Okay, mm-hmm. let's get that straight. Mm-hmm. But when he dropped that title, what happened? He sold more records and he was able to work with more artists than he did when he was a Christian rapper. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Why is that? I think because Christian rap is unpopular. It's unpopular. Well, yeah, definitely. But is it the title that's unpopular? It's the title that's unpopular. Okay. It's the title. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Nobody want to click on nothing that says uh, Christian rap. They play Christian rap at freaking one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. When everybody's sleep or already drunk. So when they mm-hmm. turn it on, they're like, yo, this, yeah. What is that? It, 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 it just tunes in their ears. So, so that's one of the reasons. Cause I know I had said we had this conversation about Christian music. Why is it unpopular? And I think right. that's one of the reasons I said is because mainstream, it's not accepted. By right. mainstream. It's not accepted by rain, mainstream radio stations. Right. It's not accepted into the mainstream. Exactly. And it seems like, based on what we read, the inf- you know, the history of it that we read last week, that it's never been accepted. No, it not hasn't. even since the beginning. That's right. It's it stayed underground. It never it never came up from underground. That's right. Right? And so mainstream radio stations don't play it until like most people say like we're from different states, right? And from everybody New York. we talk to from different states. <laughs> You know, I'm California. We got friends here in Georgia. They all say the same thing. They don't play the music on the radio station till Sunday, what, Monday morning at 2 a.m.? Yeah, 2 a.m. You're getting ready to go to work. You're sleeping. <laughs> Nobody's listening to the radio. Right. Who's out on Sunday night? Not even the clubbers. My nah, club heads ain't even out on nah, Sunday night. Nobody's out like that, yo. <laughs> they make sure you don't hear it. Yeah, yeah. They right? do. They do mm-hmm. make sure you don't hear it. Um, it, and, it's, and it's unfortunate, but is it really unfortunate? Because whose fault is that? Right. Well, okay. Who's is it? You feel like it's somebody? Go ahead. I Elab- think elaborate. The, I think it's the artist's fault, but I also think that they never had no guidance. So it's it's like who do you look for? Who do you look to to get that guidance? Uh, okay. I mean, uh, who do you look for to say, okay, yo, your music has to be like this. Your music has to be like this in order if if you if you want to do that type of music. Nobody said to them, hey, make sure your records are hot. Which mm-hmm. means there's no, it's the standard. Okay. It's, it's the, the standards is not the same as regular, regular just mainstream, hip-hop. mainstream music. Why do you think the standards are different? No, first of all, no guidance. Um, the production is, 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 there's, is there no money behind it? Hard, there's no money. Okay. That makes Who's going to put money behind you when your joint ain't even selling? All because right. you got a joint saying like this. Okay. Oh, instead of it being like this. Oh, that's hot right there. Mm-hmm. Yo, who is that? Oh, that. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's hot. Did you hear that, Papa? No. Instead of that, it's like this. That. Uh, okay, so it, it's, it's it, underwhelming, is what you're saying. Uh, uh, yeah. That's garbage. That, uh. So it's underwhelming. So it almost sounds like you're saying it's a catch twenty two. Like it's it's not. It's underwhelming, right? It's not. It's not exciting. It's it's kind it's of boring. Exciting. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just not really popping. Right. But at the same time, there's no resources and support behind right. it to help it to be more exactly you know, mainstream. Exactly. Okay. So it's it's a little bit of both there. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you know you need somebody to guide you in this in this in this industry like anything else. You need OGs. You know what I mean to tell you how to how to really make music. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's I don't care where they're from. If they know how to make records, they know how to make records, regardless of what the record is. If somebody could tell you how to make a hot record, mm-hmm. right, and they have a team say, yo, they got a producer, they got a writer, okay, and you have what it takes to um, to be an artist, you know, because sometimes it ain't just about the music and about the song. You have mm-hmm. to have uh, uh, your whole person. You have to have personality, too, sometimes. Yeah, that's, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Just because you want to rap about Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Where's your personality? Yeah. And you might even be you might even be able to spit real good. Like, yeah. We just talked about that earlier today. We uh, uh song we heard, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And she was able to really, you know, she she was had a way with the words. She was able to spit the bars real good. Everybody but she can't was do boring. that. 
what the, the content was it was a snoozer <laughs> the content was like <sighs> yeah my daughter was like ah. <laughs> you know what I mean yeah you know, she talking about it. I start day when I start daydreaming it's a wrap yeah. I know I'm not the only one okay and what's what's happening outside because right. I'm not you ain't get my attention right now yeah so and also money talks yeah you know money I mean? talk, so yo. sounds like you know if these major labels are underwhelmed. They just not selling. So what am I spend my energy? That's what you're saying. That's right? what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Why I'm gonna spend my energy and my money and resources mm-hmm. trying to trying to make this? You know, nobody it's like wants dead to end. Nobody want to hear. Nobody want to hear it. Mm. But one thing that I will say, uh, I, I would say like you know you you, you got to try to um you got to be different. You know what I mean? Um, Jesus was chilling with the thugs. You know what I mean? If you want your music, mm-hmm. people to hear your music. Chill, chill, I mean, make situational music. So you mean like relatable? Yeah, relatable. Oh, mm-hmm. matter of fact, hold on. Before we, we get into that, mm-hmm. I've talked to artists, Christian people, and I talked to I talked to believers and non-believers, okay? The non-believers said Christian rap, so-called Christian rap, is not relatable. Mm-hmm. And then the believers said it was too much like the world. Mm-hmm. Who's right? So there's no medium. You can't please anybody. You can't basically. please nobody. So, like, how do you, you know, how do you navigate that? Because then, you know, you got a lot of believers that just don't, they're not accepting of anything that doesn't have an organ behind it. Right. And say Christ. It's you not church. I mean? Right. It has to, it has to be in that box. Remember when I was saying it has to be in that box or, right. it's, you know, this is too worldly. I can't listen to this. You know what I mean? Right. And so, yeah, so you got that whole group that's, that completely rejects yeah. any other type of gospel. You know, it has to be a certain type of gospel. It has You know what I mean? It can't, it can't, it can't be anything else. Right. They reject this. So, yeah. I mean. Psh. And then you got the secular world saying, this is not relatable. Mm-hmm. You ain't talking about my situation. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. And what I, what I, what I say to that, man, you be situational. Perfect example. When I go to the gym, all right. I like a gel, like straight the yard workout. You know what I mean? Like I need, when when I'm in the gym, you know, I'm trying to you know get right, <laughs> back right. But when I'm when I'm working out, dumbbells. You know what I'm saying? I like a straight gel workout. You know what I'm saying? Like something just real grimy. But I don't want to listen to the cursing and stuff. I don't have the ears for that. Like it's my spirit is unease for that type of music, right? Mm-hmm. But sometimes I have to listen to that music to get me through the workout. Because there's, there's no clean music. There's no clean music like from from an artist mm-hmm. of, of a so-called Christian rapper, right? I can't play your music because I can't get through a workout. They don't it don't they don't have that type of those type of beats. You don't have that type of beat. You don't have that type of <laughs> you know, you don't have that type of music that I need to get through my workout. You know what I'm saying? Or if I'm just riding, I had a rough day from work, you know what I'm saying? Or I just want to hear some just chilling music. I may not want to listen to God, you know, listen to Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm, I'm being real 100%. Right. Everybody don't want to hear that 100% of the time. And that doesn't mean that it's not good, wholesome, quality music. Right. You know what I mean? And so I think that's that's what we got to get out of that mindset that, you know, um, Jesus only looks one way. You right. know what I mean? Like, you know, there's uh, there's so many different situations that he's in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so um, almost like I think a great example is the artist of the week. That, yeah, that yeah. Graham Thomas Graham joint. Thomas joint. Um, what is it called? Uh, come come through. through. Like he's talking about um, being tempted mm-hmm. to go, you know, to to you know go engage, you know, in some behaviors that's ungodly. <laughs> yes. And so he's talking about temptation. Yeah. What about that? What about those topics? Right, living you your know? truths. Yeah, that's okay. I like dance hall music. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I don't want to dance with my lady. You know what I'm saying? We talking about Jesus, Jesus. No, 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 no. Hold up. I feel like I want to party. So put on some dance hall music. But I, again, I can't listen to the cursing. Where's that just good, clean dance mm-hmm. hall music? You can talk about anything. Mm-hmm. Live your truth. You know, everything doesn't have to be Jesus, Jesus, Jesus to make a, a nice record. Yeah. I'm not saying cursing. I'm not saying talk nasty. You know what right. I mean? And I ain't we, saying all not that. Not even saying that there's anything wrong with saying Jesus. Man, you, know? you could say Jesus. Yo, yeah, it's just. It's have just, all type of records. Right. If you're that type of artist. If you're an artist, cool. But if you're a hip hop artist, right? Okay, you could still, yo, live your truth. Yeah, there's so many. There's so many situations. So many situations. And I was saying, like, I like. 
the uh kind of what what was that that I was saying the um the neo soul type oh, of yeah. type of rap the common and you know what I mean and like you know that kind of um that vibe you know I what love, I mean yo, I love yeah you can just soul, light a candle man. and you know what I mean and just chill yeah yo. and then the gospel you turn on a, a Christian hip hop you don't get none of that either when you say Christian hip hop I say so called his so called Christian hip hop ain't no ain't no it's Christian hip hop yeah we stop that today people yeah, it's just hip hop. Because mm-hmm. we're going to set a new foundation. This is a different time. Mm-hmm. This is 2021. If you want to sell records, you got to do something completely different. And if you want to touch people's souls, be slick about it. Mm-hmm. Which, how are you going to be slick about it? No. Drop the title. Yeah. You put that word on them, and they don't even know. They You're don't like, even oh, know. Wow. They might, oh, This is oh, such a... Yeah, exactly. Yo, all right. All right, that was mm-hmm. slick right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get them to him? listen. Like, I know you want to hear more Grant Thomas's yeah. joint. Yeah, you find out what he's talking about. Yeah. Like, wait a minute, wait. He was like, wait a minute, about? what you talking about? He ain't never heard. You don't hear too much um, so-called Christian rap. Yeah, thank you. Thank right? you for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where he just talking about a real situation. This exactly. chick called me in the middle of the night. I'm tempted, but Man. I know better. You know what I mean? Like, I've that's been the topic. There. I've been there. Who hasn't? You know, a lot of yeah. people have. You know, And I know you've been there, nasty. <laughs> Nasty self. You know, we go through some real stuff and I think people are tired of um people are tired of the of the shallow. We yeah. need some real stuff that we need some real stuff to hear our spirit. Yeah, so yo, can you can you speak to people's hearts? Yeah. And yo, people's mm-hmm. looking for hope right now. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Looking for something different. Are you gonna give it to them? Yo, I'm an artist myself. I was found in the studio doing so called hip hop, Christian hip hop. And my, my joint was so fire, it was like, yo, you want to work with you. And I got in the music industry that way because my joint was fire. But I ain't know I was a Christian rapper. I, <laughs> that was a minute ago. I guess that's all you need to say. Yeah, I was a Christian rapper, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Go. But I, but my, my when I got in the game, that's where my mind expanded because mm-hmm. I was like, oh, wow. You know, I worked with big names, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I was like, wow, okay. Let me drop that title because I'm not no... Cri- okay. Mm-hmm. I learned some things. Right. And that's what I'm I'm here to, you know, and give I, you. I imagine that you also learned about how the dead endness of it. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I'm sure you hit that, right? Yo, it's like Christian rap is a... Uh, so-called Christian rap is a hobby. Mm-hmm. It's a dead end. Yeah. But, yo, let's, 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 let's open the road. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, open let's the open the road. Open the road. And then... um, So... We actually, we, uh, why, <laughs> yeah, we kind of hit all the points. Why, um, what do you think, how do you think Christian rappers can open that road and be more successful? What do, what do, Chris, what do so-called Christian rappers need to do to open that road? All right, yo, first of all, to open that road of success, let's drop that title because that's hindering you. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. So we drop that title. Take a chapter out of Lecrae's book. Take a chapter mm-hmm. out of Lecrae's book. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect example. Shout mm-hmm. out to you again, Lecrae. You know what I mean? <sighs> take that out. Uh, take take that out your mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come up with some production. Look, um, Go back and listen to Cassidy. Yo, hold on. Shout out to Cassidy. Because Cassidy be watching. Cass- Cassidy watch what we doing. You know what I mean? Shout out to you, Cass. He from Philly, yo, he's he got bars for days. Shout out to him. You know what I mean? Go listen to artists. You know what I'm saying? That's not so called Christian rapper. Go go critique your lyrics. You know what I mean? Learn how to make hot music. Period. You know what I mean? Um, learn from the greats, man. Who's out there? You know what I mean? Learn how to. Um, if if you don't have a production, reach out to us. You know what I mean? Use us, and then um, once you do that. Go from there. Learn how to have personality. I mean, don't go to your family because they're going to say, oh, yeah, you good. You hot. No. Go to a stranger and ask them, yo, be honest with me. Is this hot? They're going to say, nah. I said stopped. So, um, well, I stopped. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, that was pretty much, you know, the last part. You do, you, you know, we just... To wrap it up. Yeah, to wrap and it up. And so, you know, the last thing I was going to say is um, that, you know, kind of what you said about dropping the... So you know the drop- camera went off. Right, right. 
Um, we still going, right? Yeah, we still going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> About dropping the title. Yeah. And uh, when we drop the title, you can actually go in as just a rapper. Mm-hmm. You probably have more advantages, you have right? have a lot of advantages. If you drop that and then when you go in, you create your own content. Yep. Then you create your content. This is what I want to rap about. There you go. Versus, you know, um, yeah, versus versus putting yourself in that box. Exactly. All right. And so please comment. Please comment. Make yes. sure because we do read the comments. We're about to read a few right now from the last episode. So make sure you join in on this conversation. Uh, anything you any comments you want to make, we want you to we want to include you in the conversation. Yes. And so we're going to read a couple of comments from the first part of this series and we have one from miss shannon davis and she says and and thank you shannon for for tuning in and and putting in a comment she says omg so enjoyed you guys podcast really enjoyed the positive vibe the music and the conversation y'all gave me some things to think about talk about with my friends and to look up some information looking forward to the next time peace that's what's up I got one right here from an artist who hit me up on Instagram. I like him as an artist, you know what I'm saying? He got bars for days. I'm not going to mention his name, but he said, um, uh, the question, you know, just go back to the last video. Uh, He said, no, it's not. Some don't sound like gospel, and I try to listen to messages that that encourage. Everybody want to be turned up for Christ every now and then, but as far as Christian hip-hop being trash... No, not at all. But yo, shout out to everybody who gave their comments and their opinion. We love that. Continue to do so. We encourage you to to comment on uh, our YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? Comment on them joints. Yes, yes, and and no, no opinion is a bad opinion. Nah, you know we we love all opinions. You know we don't all have to agree. You know that's what converse. That's what good conversation is. Word, word. All right, we have one more, um, and this person says, and this is kind of right on target with today, too, um, labeling yourself as a Christian artist can be limiting. I believe that a lot of a lot of artists are given gifts of writing and producing music, and if you stick to one thing, you're f- not fully using your gifts. I should be able to sing about loving God, loving another human being, having fun partying, and spending time alone meditating on his word. Isn't all those things we do as humans? Mm. Yes. That's what's up. Right? That's what's up. But uh, shout out to everybody who left the comment. We appreciate that. You know what I mean? So, yo, but uh, f- for our second sponsor uh, is Beauty Par. B-E-A-U-T-E-R. B-E-A-U-T-E. No, B-E-A-U-T-E. <laughs> yeah, B-E-A. Wow, what was I spelling? I don't know. <laughs> wow. B-E-A-U-T-E-P-A-R. Berta Par. What was I saying? Beauty Par. <laughs> B-E-A-U-T-E. The new beauty. P-A-R dot com. <laughs> yes. The first, the only thing that I like there, because I'm not a woman, is uh, the skin products. You know, uh, I use the body butter. And um, the body butter makes your skin so soft. So if you're a female or you're a male, yo, go get your lady something from there. Um, they have apparel items. Uh, it's, it's a it's a boutique. A boutique. A boutique. Yeah, I'm not a female, so I wouldn't know anything about that. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. a boutique. They have some really nice stuff there. So uh, shout out to beautypar.com. Okay. And didn't you say you had a surprise? Yes. You had some, some giveaways. So check this out. The code to get uh, your free gear from ordangerous.com is MDG Podcast. M D as in dog G Podcast. So you uh, put that code in at checkout and um, you just got to pay shipping and That's it. get your item. All right? Free 99 plus shipping. Free 99 plus shipping. <laughs> okay. So only shipping is only a few bucks. So Yes, go check out and go to ourdangerous.com and check out that gear. Yes, sir. It's, 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 not too, it's not too shabby. It's right. pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, that's it for our show. Uh, stay tuned for next week's show. And um, remember this. If nobody tells you that they love you, remember, we, we do. do. Unlocking, Unlocking the music. The music. Uh-huh. God comes down. Now I know to the world, the rap I kick will make you think I'm a lunatic. Lost my mind or mentally sick. Uh-huh. But for all mankind, this is it. New kingdom on the earth where the devil don't fit. No more bad times and no more wars. New Jerusalem, the city with the gold on the floor. 
Right to stores, a thousand year pause, the earth rejuvenated, Christ illuminated. I fight for the cause, kick down doors, the devil set up, and I'm about to erupt. Max the warrior, I wear the armor of God. Fix your face, raise the base, and stop looking so hard. You see, praising the Lord is easy for me. Craig Max right where he's supposed to be. You're not close to me, you're supposed to be.